even if it's just the whatever the red mage is that right. gives haste. Well, he's just stuck. Yeah. Now, how 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 are you doing there, little little red mage? I'm not giving people haste. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Goblin fire slinger. Yeah. No longer useful. Um, you will not lawkeeper. I mean, Arachnus web. If they don't have some way to pump, is a lot better than pacifism. Yeah. I mean, then it's a rest. Would you like to play first? Yes. We are pretty aggressive with this. And that's keepable. Um, our first play is going to be probably a Rachnus web to slow him down. But we may draw into a Sacred Wolf before then. We have a Spirit Mantle in hand. Sure. I mean, that is not... Although, I'm not... It's always, Do you want to play first? It's like, then you see your hand, and it's like... Well, with this hand, I'm not sure we do want to play first. <laughs> right. But, oh well. Yeah, just with the deck. Yeah. What we want to be able to do is... Because we have two Land of War Elves, three Sacred Wolves. The chance of getting some combination of those in your opening seven cards is, is decent. decent. I mean, I'm not a an odds maker, but... It's not terrible. It's not unreasonable. It's not like one of those decks where you're like, well, if I can get these eight cards to be my opening hand. No, that's, that's three cards. <laughs> yeah. Three cards, and you really only care about two of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, if we get a Sacred Wolf, which we have three in the deck, then we can play that. We can play the Spirit Mantle. And who knows? Bago 75 may... <laughs> Bagus seventy five did not show up. <laughs> Failed to show up. Oh, here we go. All right. Um, don't think it really matters whether we lead with the white or the green. Did we pat? We didn't take the law, not the law keeper, the crown. Uh, Gideon's guy. Who? No, we did not take Gideon. The Gideon guy. Gets bigger every time you tap. Yeah. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Because um, now we can get Giant Spider, which will buy us time. <laughs> that's a little more annoying. Yep. Although, now we can cast Sarah Angel. Uh, True. I mean... It's, it's all about how you look at it. <laughs> About shining that shit as shiny as you can make it. <laughs> Our deck is not right now doing what we expected it to do. But, but it I, is doing something. Yeah. And that ain't bad. And right here, I cast that expecting it to be countered because I knew sure. I had two things <laughs> that I really didn't want to be countered. Um, instead, it looks like he might be... More host oh, than we are? well, he's playing three colors. So, let's so he is more hosed than we are. Yeah, he man, with what I'm seeing on the in our hand, he's really hosed. It doesn't look promising for him. I wish he wasn't playing blue. Honestly, <laughs> well, I think everyone who's ever played against somebody <laughs> playing blue has said that. <laughs> well, the reason I wish is because there's a good chance that he, this is not going to make it to the table. Well, uh, uh, I wasn't even thinking counter spells. Since he didn't counter that first one, I'm thinking bounce. If he has an Aether Adept and I put a Spirit Mantle on my Sarah Angel. Or, you know, maybe he's just got nothing. Right. Okay. Well, um, how far away? What do you think for Sacred Wolf? Three. Oh. Oh, Four. I was close. Yeah, you were close. All right. We will take that win, even though it proved... Well, on the plus side, once again, he has no idea what our deck is supposed to do. Yes. When we when we cast that Sacred Wolf this game, he's going to be very surprised. He's going to be like, Sacred Wolf? Hmm. Who would play a Sacred Wolf? And the answer is us on turn three. Would you like to mulligan? No. And I don't know if I... I think I talked to you a little bit about it. Before the set came out, after the spoilers... You were I, all I was troll hide on the Sacred Wolf. Right. Kid in the candy store. FTW. Um, now that I've had a chance to play, 
I realized that really it's Spirit Mantle on a Sacred Wolf. Because the biggest problem with it is next turn I cast the Sacred Wolf. The turn after that I cast the Troll Hide, but I don't have regeneration up. Right. And so it just it gets a little bit clunky and a little bit slow. Um, he does have also the the number one threat to slow down your troll hided sacred wolf. But pacifism shuts that down. Yep. And he's playing blue, so I guess he does have an answer. If you're playing black and red, you have no answer answer to an enchantment. Yeah, you do. You burn your creature, put him in the graveyard, and pull him back out. Yes. That is true. Burn it or sack it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that is the answer. Um, but no, I was thinking about uh, well, what do we want to do? Something awesome, something that makes him quit on turn two again. If we troll hide and attack. And he blocks. If nothing else, it eats up his... Right. Then he's going to have to start... I mean, this turn he'll be able to bring him back right away because he didn't do anything. But next turn he might not be able to. Well, And maybe he forgets that... to do it end of turn. Nope. No, nope. not this time. And the other thing is, next turn, potentially, we, I mean, if we want to, we pacify it. I'm not sure that's the play there. I'm thinking maybe Stampeding Rhino. Um, uh, because Trample will get through this guy. Sure. On the other hand, if we put out the forest, we could pacify and Sacred Wolf. Right. That's true. And then our 5-3 guy is running through. True. Um, and he'd be down to 15. We'd have 8 on the board. Although this guy could very quickly become useless if we don't get and it something else. But we could draw one of our spirit mantles. Yeah. Um, it's up to you. You know the game better than I do. We could also put out a greater basilisk. I mean, right. you know, nobody likes that, right? Let's pacify. Who knows? Maybe... I mean, he could fling it. He could, like you said, do all of those things to well, get it. There's back. any number of ways to, to deal with it. Yeah. But it means that he's using a card to do it. Yep. It does. And it means that this our, round, our opponent, who as of yet has not really shown us what his deck can do, is going to be forced to show us. Like, yep. That guy's not going to just buy him time forever. Yeah, I, I have to admit, when I first saw the reassembling skeleton, mm -hmm. I was like, I don't get it. And then I reread it, and I was like, oh. Oh, that's like a dredge skeleton, only hated you a little bit. You, who, who called it? <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> so that was a great play, because he just used his own burn spell... To get that guy back. Yep. Um, at this point, well, it kind of depends. If he taps out, oh wow, this is also a good time to have the creatures we have because hexproof. It shuts we just down. don't care. Yep. Um, I think we attack in with both. Because even if he blocks this Sacred Wolf, next turn it'll come into play tapped. He'll be at five. He's not going to block with the Royal, Royal Assassin. Assassin. You would, yeah. I wouldn't think. And we're going to, if we want to, put down another Sacred Wolf. Which is probably a better play. That's tough. Maybe, oh. maybe we put down the Rhino, because if we get an Arachnus Web, which we have two... Sure. Then we suddenly have something dangerous. 
Yeah, well, royal assassins do not like being wrap, wrapped up in webs <laughs> by, uh, in spider webs. Yeah. He is actually, as we were talking when we started that video about one lens to put an arachnid oh, yeah. on, he is the definition of a... Okay, so that's going to be annoying. That he can slow us with that guy. Um, although... Not so much right now. Yeah, he can't this turn. So, we attack in with the wolf. Do we send the... I mean, it's too late now, but... He would kill it. So, he'd be one life. No, he'd kill it before it deals damage. Um, In reaction to it being tapped. Him being tapped, got it. That's where... I mean, when I... Back when Royal Assassin was, you know, my card, my Mm -hmm. thing... You were using it wrong. I was absolutely using it wrong. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. Um, Here, I think we just put out Greater Basilisk. And we hope that one of our Spirit Mantles are coming up sometime soon. And also we hope that he doesn't actually understand how to play Pendavis. Some people don't sack. Sure, and they get worn down. Right. And if that happens, that's even better. Okay, so attack in with Sacred Wolf. Um, At this point also, since he could, I mean, who knows what he has in hand. But if he didn't have something to just, like, Doom Blade and kill, an Overrun could... Oh, yeah. Could get us there. But he does know how to do it to keep it from getting through. So let's go with that overrun theory and keep up the white to fake we have a stave off. Ooh, I didn't even think about stave off. That would do it, too. That would also counter his royal assassin. Or make it unblockable, which would be the... Well, not against an artifact, though. Let's see. So he's loading up to attack with his flyers. Depending on how much he is spending, too. Hey, it's that card you hate to play against. Yeah, I do hate the Bell Tower Sphinx. So, let's see. Overrun or Spirit Mantle. Three of our 26 cards. Or Stave Off. No, Stave Off didn't get us through. It might get us through, but... Spirit Mantle. There we go. Perfect. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe less Mongols <laughs> live. Is that some or Mo- I don't even know black sex. I gotta block this guy. <laughs> You are nothing without me. Yes. Watch us not actually get to attack because he's a... He's being a douche. Yeah. Up. Oh, no. (laughs) Nothing you can do. Yeah. 
don't think there's yeah. an out. And that's why we love it. And there was the overrun a couple of turns away. And the Sarah Angel. Like the Sarah Angel. Yeah. I mean, not. unfortunately I got the Penimus, so, you know. Right. Doesn't make a bit of difference, but. But not tapping to attack is nice. Well, okay. especially with, like, a with, the, with the Assassin on board. Yeah. You know, some of the stuff they did, even back in Unlimited and in, Revised. Back in the day. Was pretty smart. Like, they, they you know they gave Sarah Angel attacking does not cause, you know, vigilance. Because Royal Assassin did that. What? I'm sure that was part of it. Uh, I mean... I think it was also just... It would be cool if an angel could be both defensive and offensive. Yeah. No, they, they had some good flavor there, and... I don't know. It Obviously now, like, I think M12 is incredible, because I don't think there is a bad color. Yeah. Paired right, I think I could win with any color. Well, maybe not me. Paired right, I feel like... Um, a good player could win with almost any. Well, no, with any color. You can win with black. Probably want to pair it with red or blue. Most likely red. If you do an aggressive um, blood So you thirst. can burn and get the blood thirst. And... Yep. Sure. Uh, that works well. Can I, I already have one with blue-green. I have one with white green, I have one with white red. We should totally go over to his house. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, hernia. Uh, for those of you who haven't figured out, this is our Usual partner in crime for draft beer, uh, Bob, and we were unable to get together this evening. Though we aren't entirely clear why, <laughs> right. because he's just, he was like, oh, I have to study, and then he's goofing off. Yep, and he's going to be drafting anyway. But for the sake of, uh, you know, success, it was probably better that he wasn't here, because... There's a good chance he would... Bob has opinions. Yeah, he'd castrate our efforts. <laughs> John, 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 viewers. <laughs> amen. And by amen, I'm going to put a comment in it. All hey. right, well, we probably don't need to record this for our viewers. No, probably not. Uh, or for when we go back and watch it ourselves. Yeah, and giggle. <laughs> <laughs>